Hello everyone and welcome to a new video and a new year. It's been a while since I've made a video. Um, been working a lot in real life and the business has changed over the last time since I've made a video. So there's a resource mayhem going on at the moment which is pretty cool driving the prices of all commodities up and uh, I'll get into what I've been up to so the way the business makes money now is we do gun orders for one guy and he puts in big orders at the moment I'm crafting some materials and in in conjunction with things I need to craft for the gun orders so to start off I think I'll just walk you guys through previous times what I was doing before which was writing down every craft holding my narc accountable for their returns I stopped doing that some time ago um, w once I started these gun orders it was inconceivable the amount of crafting I have to do I just don't have the time to record every craft I might craft for four or five hours straight and a heap of different components it's just it was just too much but you know in saying that the end result was 92.44 percent I'd imagine that's probably gone up a bit more since then um, you know we turned over 2.7 million ped I hear tell more like 5 million peds probably a better gauge but good enough for me from my experience what's going on with the game I'm pretty happy with the returns in general um, skills of course matter got some pretty decent skills now so um, just to walk you through a little bit of what these orders look like that I've been doing and how I've been making the turnover I still sell mining materials I still sell components I still sell some guns that I'm not making for my client um, on the auction house so there's still a good turnover I still get a good share of EP4 recycle blueprints not lately actually because of this new mayhem thing but they're a good source of income so just to give you a peek at one of these lists that I get this is a OBS spreadsheet that I get well a word spreadsheet that I get sent to me and as you can see, there's quite a large order for higher level guns, which I sort of have a hard time filling because the materials aren't that easy to get and blueprints for those. So I tend to stick to the lower level guns and sort of bite into the higher level ones when I can. Um, I tend to do gun amps first in these orders because of the metal residue. Energy matter residue can go to guns later. But yeah, so I'll do my amps first. So as you can see, the amounts here are quite mind-boggling. You know, you you got thousands of thousands of ped of crafting, and I I get through as much as I my budget allows, and of course, materials and blueprints allow. Like the way the game is now, I've chewed through most of my blueprints doing these orders, and it's just hard to find them sometimes. But um, here's the total. So if I was to craft everything on this order. That order would total 39,800 ped. And the MU on that would be 46. The MU is total is 46,000. So you're looking at about um, uh, seven, seven and a half ish thousand ped profit off this one order. And that's if I was to fill that whole order. So, really good. Um, it's been a stable thing. I just haven't had the time to craft it. I've been working six days a week for like three three months in a row and just haven't had a chance to get onto the game. Haven't had a chance to make videos. So so what happened was I I got I had some gear. I gave it to my daughter because she was short of some video gear. I got other video gear. Um, I'm just sort of testing out the new OBS now. And yeah. But um, look, if you guys are playing the game and everything's quite profitable now, especially during this resource mayhem, um, you know, 
I don't really like the new UI, but I am sort of getting used to it. But if you if you look at some of these, um, uh, not so much Belcar, but if you look at some of the lower level products, like let's type in um, Glossarium. Uh, maybe I spelt it wrong. Glossarium. Come on, bro. Refresh. <laughs> there can't be no Glossarium on the auction house. Laws. There we go. Ah, it's down 105. Yesterday, Blossarium was 108%. So I'd imagine a lot of people will be crafting those specific tier um, basic structures and all that. And then you might see iron. Iron might go up in MU from the um, standard matrix part of component of that actual mayhem. Um, I am going to try to attempt the mayhem myself. Uh, probably try to do it in conjunction with the gun crafting. But yeah, iron's up to 108%. Man, I can go and iron, mine iron all day and night. Easy. Just just go and get iron and make 8% MU. So. And that's just for two small orders. Then it goes up to 112 for decent orders. So yeah, iron is a good money maker at the moment. Everything basically is a good money maker at the moment. Um, the game's gotten to a spot now where I don't know. I'm not saying a lot of people, more people, play it or anything, but it seems to be running smoother economically. Uh, it's not as junky, and them doing things like introducing certain mobs and uh, certain damages to mobs too. I think um, it's making certain amps sell more, and you know. Are you right there with your ship, mate? I'm trying to make a video here, you know? <laughs> Jesus. Let me just turn that desktop audio down a bit. It's uh, a bit overriding. Let's just go to there. There we go. Yeah, so... I'm just tired. Sorry, I'm not as excited as I should be to make this video after all those months. But, guys, everything's going good. As you can see, I've got a good amount of residue sitting there ready to go. I've already crafted half of some of the amps off that order. Um, I'll generally make a heap of components and then craft a heap of stuff and then run out of components or residue. Then go mining, you know, because a very integral part of this is to go mining. You can't always be buying stuff off the auction house for MU. And, um, and of course, there's the mining component of the mayhem as well. But even without the mayhem, I usually would mine a fair bit. As you all know, I may even, I may even have a stab at streaming soon. That, that's a thought that has crossed my mind. But yeah, hope you've all been well. And uh, this is what I've been doing. I'm going to probably just end that video there. It won't be my last I'll make another one probably probably next month, but see how we go. Um, at the moment, I haven't got any plans to take on any jobs at the moment. I, do, I know I've got a bit of work coming up in about two months' time, and I might just dabble a little bit here and there, but yeah, see how we go. Um, just uh, just want to keep this, this sort of ball rolling with this, these orders. And um, and see if mind mind arc bees a little bit generous with their um recognition that I'm contributing to the community, you know. But yeah, all right, guys, have a good one, and uh, I'll catch you soon.